you know, I don't know how to <clears throat> exactly to not get discouraged by the thing, the situation in the world right now. I mean, there's a million things that are like so completely screwed up that it's hard to imagine how everyone isn't going completely fucking insane. But like, I mean, one thing that really, really gets me. I remember, I, I've had this thought come across my mind many times over the last year. I started out about this time last year with $50,000 in the bank. About that. And just knowing, knowing full well that if it had been 20, 30, 40 years ago, a varying degree, you know, with that kind of money, I should have had, you know, like three acres and a two-story house or something at least, you know. I should have had like a farm house in the country with numerous acres, you know, beautiful surroundings and view of the mountains, you know, and then still had like half the money left afterwards. <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't even get into a fucking apartment because I can't even get couldn't even get somebody to, to approve an apartment application anywhere. I've had to blow all that money that, that should have been a fucking farmhouse on several acres and then some. If I would have been able to, if I would have blown all of it like back then, like, well, hell, I could have had 20, 40 acres and a fucking two story farmhouse and a barn and <laughs> fucking. Everything ready to go the whole farm Maybe it even come with cows and pigs and chickens. I don't know, you know <laughs> Couple of tractors left behind <laughs> Jesus maybe a, a maybe a big pond, you know God damn and still had money left over probably To keep the bills paid for years and years and years had everything paid off right off the bat, you know To go from that to, or like even in the 90s, man, like if it had been the mid, mid 90s, like 30 years ago, or, or even like, yeah, mid to late 90s, say, or very early 2000s, right? Well, then I could have had like, say a mobile home on maybe an acre or something and then still had a bunch of money left over yeah like easily and if I'd wanted to get into an apartment they were like a hundred dollars a month 150 even back then really big nice one two three hundred maybe and there wouldn't have been all this waiting and all this acceptance and all this bullshit fucking oh you don't wait till you get approved you gotta get approved fuck you take my money you know i could have been i could have been renting a fucking house this entire fucking year and i still would have not have spent half as much money as I've spent so far. If I had been renting like a two bedroom house with a washer and dryer and a kitchen and a big living room and a backyard, fenced in backyard and everything from day fucking one, if they would have just rented it to me, rented one of them to me, right? And just accept my fuck, yeah, accept. My 
approve of me, O great ones. O great ones, approve of me. I kneel before thee. Pull out thy ass so that I may kiss it. Like, what the fuck do they want? I had 50 goddamn thousand dollars. It wouldn't take my fucking money. It wouldn't let me move in anywhere. So, here I am, damn near going broke. About a year later, you know. Pissing away in a fucking motel room. That's nothing. I could have been somewhere in a home, stationary. Had plenty of fucking time where I'm not having to deal with, oh, I got to do this and that and the other thing and jump through this hoop and that hoop for the, the, the fucking motel fees and this and that and the other thing. And I could have fucking probably had, I don't know, a job, girlfriend, like, actual life by now but no can't do that fuck dude maybe started a business you know if i hadn't been so fucking busy just running this way and that all the time for meaningless bullshit because i can't get a fucking home it's like Let's get a job, you bum. Yeah. Let's just strip you of everything you fucking have and throw your ass out on the goddamn street. Have you live in your car? Let's see you go get a job. Fucking hold it down and get your shit together. You got fucking nothing and nobody. Doesn't matter if you have money, because nobody will take your fucking money. Except maybe a motel if you're lucky. You can sit in your fucking motel room alone. All the people in the rooms next to you are revving their motorcycles or screaming at the top of their lungs at 2 or 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. Goddamn. Fun times, fun times. Son of a bitch. I'm sick of this shit, man. I just want a fucking patch of dirt to plant some food and plant a fucking, some sort of a structure on that I can live in, you know? And be left the fuck alone with all the goddamn, oh, we got zoning regulations. Oh, there's zoning regulations. Oh, you gotta have a septic tank. Oh, you gotta have this. Oh, you gotta have that. Our fucking uh, district, or our, our our zoning, our county requires this, and our city requires that, and the state requires that you pay this, and this requires that you pay that. Fuck you, you thieving, lying, evil, fucking demonic sacks of dog shit. May you rot in fucking eternal hellfire, you bastards. You just let people fucking live, goddammit. Fucking stuff shirt bureaucrat cocksuckers, man. Fucked a lot of them, dude. Pompous motherfuckers, man. This I am important. I have a title in my name. Look at my job. I'm special. Fuck you, cocks. Motherfucker. <laughs> Just fuck, man. Mm. <sighs> Just getting fucking robbed, blind at every turn. Robbed, fucking blind, man. Just bent the fuck over with no lube and raped repeatedly endlessly fucked over in the ass fucked in the wall fucked in the head <laughs> just which leads to fucked in the liver yep good old good times good times so yeah that's kind of how I feel about things it's such a lovely time to live in isn't it Lovely, lovely. Mm. 
I also really just love just being alone all the fucking time. Having, like, nobody who's actually supportive or really genuinely helpful in my life. And I especially like the ones who are, like, pretending to be helpful while they're actually just, like, mind-fucking raping you. Like, <laughs> you know, just, like, emotionally and fucking psychologically torturing you to fucking death, basically. Fun fucking times to live in, man. Hope a giant fucking meteor crashes into this goddamn place. Or the sun fucking explodes or something. Or get... Goddamn particle accelerator blows up the entire fucking existence of Earth. I'm so sick of it. Like, something, man. Something. Happen soon, please. Or, 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 at least, like, in the, you know, dude, this place could be a fucking paradise for literally everyone, basically. If it wasn't for, like, the blindness and the goddamn me, 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 greed, greed, greed of everyone, every, you know. Well, especially, like, the top 1%, you know, that control, owns, you know, runs and controls and claims to own fucking over 90-something percent of absolutely everything on the face of the earth, you know? So that's fair, right? <laughs> Should have been fucking no one that you can, like... I don't hardly trust anybody, dude. I don't trust fucking nobody, man, hardly. Like, it's... Because... What I see is just backstabbing and betrayal and people plotting. But the dude in the fucking day live said, you know, everybody's out for themselves and looking to fuck you over. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you over is what he said, yeah. They use their tongues to deceive. The venom of snakes is under their lips. Their mouths are full of bitterness and curses, and the fear of God is not before their eyes. They have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful. They have blinded us to the truth. The human spirit is corrupted. Why do we worship greed? Because outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners, our owners, they have us, they control you, they are our masters, wake up, <laughs> they're all about you, all around you, <laughs> you preach your speech in that movie, that was great, god damn, I just watched this movie, uh, God, what the hell is that again? I'm terrible and just brain farting when I'm blabbing on here. Yeah. Hold on. Ba da da. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Must be an intermission here. Intermission. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. That is not at all what I was going for. No. Bad. No. 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 Alright. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways. Great movie. It's uh... God damn it. I'm fucking brain farting the name of it. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Let me go to freaking Netflix here. Christ, this is pathetic. I literally just watched the movie. Well, I didn't really pay as much attention to the name as I did the actual movie itself, you know? God damn it. Back, you bastard. Back. Back, I say. All's quiet on the Western Front. That's it. <laughs> Took me long enough. Dee, 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 dee. 
to have the freaking music going on, right? <laughs> Fuck, man. You know, yeah, and the movie kind of illustrates, you know, how war is. A bunch of, like, rich bureaucrat fuckheads sitting in fancy fucking, like, mansions and fancy offices and stuff. Sipping fine champagne in their fancy suits. Eating the finest foods. While they send a bunch of teenagers off to like. Die in a pool of fucking their friend's blood basically. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like what it's what it's like in the world. Like you know. Oh but you know. And then in the beginning it shows how they like. Re they're recruiting all of them. And like. Telling them they're all oh, going to be heroes and it's glorious and wonderful and it's going to be easy and this will be over in a couple of weeks and don't worry about it and you'll come home and you'll be heroes and yeah, you know, and all the all the freaking kids that are there, you know, are like all smiling going, yay, this is going to be fun, we, you know, no idea, they're all singing and laughing and smiling at each other and making jokes and shit on the way there and stuff, <laughs> it's like, that's life, you know? It's like you're a kid, they're like, You can be anything if you want to when you grow up, fat belly. You can be the president of the United States. You could be an astronaut and go to the moon. Yay! <clears throat> I'm gonna show you all these fucking movies, goddamn like puppy dogs. And oh, look at the pretty flowers. Look at the flowers, honey. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers, honey. It's okay, honey. Look at the flowers. Right? Okay, Carol. Fuck me. Like, that's the goddamn shit that they got us into, man. They, they, they said, hey, come to paradise. It'll be great. You'll have a wonderful time. Check out this. Check out our luxurious suites. Look at our beautiful sandy beaches. We have the most glorious and luxurious resort for you. It's called Earth. Check out how beautiful everything is. Yo, boy, everyone has fun. Tell them what you've won, Johnny. It's beautiful there. Oh, it's so fun. Ha! And then you go there and it's like fucking ugliness, blood, guts, and murder, and fucking mayhem, and psycho bullshit, and drugs, and alcohol, and fucking perversion and sickness everywhere and just fucking bunch of goddamn zombie like lemmings fucking driving back and forth get up go to work come home sit in front of the tv go to sleep get up go to work come on punch in punch the time clock move the can this way you know people standing on a fucking assembly line one can right left move next can right to left move next can right to left move next can move next can Move next, can. I am not a robot. Repeat after me. I am not a robot. And it's like your fucking life. Oh, it's life, son. Just fucking do it, man. It's cool. It's really good. Life is beautiful. Let me give you some fucking bullshit, like, sayings and stuff to tell you how wonderful it is, man. Well, I sit in my big fucking house and eat my fucking steaks and look out at the sunset from my fucking beautiful porch and shit. <laughs> Here, let me quote you something from some Zen bullshit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Always look on the bright side of life. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Sorry, I can't whistle at all, so I just did that. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> fuck me, dude. Don't worry, son. Why, sure, I got paid enough to have a home and everything. 
By the time I was a teenager, I had a house. What's wrong with you? Well, gee, uh, Pa, um, <coughs> seems that, uh, things are about, uh, I don't know, a hundred or so times more expensive than they are now, and the wages have merely doubled. That fucking excuse, this goddamn lazy bastard, fucking, uh, bleh, bleh, vomit, fucking dirty, yeah, all over you, you know. God damn it. Just fucking shit, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. You wonder why I want to fucking drink sometimes, god damn it. Sitting here with a fucking case of beer, and it's like. My stomach, or, well, I hate to get too graphic, but say my bowels are not happy with me, like, the toilet is not providing me with results that are looking good, you know? I mean, I'm not feeling too terrible, but I'm thinking, you know, everything must go, and I think it should have gone by now, but yet, somehow... <laughs> and then uh, you know but it's like even then it's like I'm, you, know, you drink a beer because it's like fucks you up and like gets you to the point where you can go hey and you can like laugh at shit and listen to some music and be like hey that music is nice hey yeah I can feel the groove man you know Whereas, like, when you actually see the fucking reality of the world and you're, like, stone sober, you just look at it and go, oh, fuck, you know? It's like, it's like watching fucking, it's like having, you know, being in this world the way it is, like, sober is like, and with a, like, and actually get understanding, like, seeing what's going on, right? It's kind of like, God, what was that movie? Uh, Clockwork Orange? You remember the scene where they had him, like, strapped to a fucking chair with, like, t his eyes, like, taped open, sitting in front of, like, a screen? Well, it's like being, it's like, sit, it's like being, st like, strapped to a chair with, like, your eyes taped open and being fed, like, amphetamines to keep you awake and just forced to sit there for endless amounts of time watching, like, the faces of death reruns and fucking bum fights or some shit forever like <laughs> or like worse yet you know jerry springer or some shit right <laughs> it's like it's like faces of death meets jerry springer meets god damn i'm gonna fucking play that tales from the dark side fucking uh, intro like do -do 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 <laughs> uh, the world that people call real. There is another world, a dark side. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> know, whatever. <sighs> it's fucked, man. I don't know. This shit going on in the world is totally fucked. I mean, if you actually look at the stuff going on, like the the news or the you know, reports and just the things that people are saying online and on the TV and stuff. If you look at that shit at all, which I don't hardly anymore, but if you do, like anytime you do, it's like every single day, it's like, hmm, what do we see? What do we have here? Uh, let's see, there's a hundred different ways in which uh, we're all going to die and be fucked. Uh, okay. Oh, look, there's a thousand more stories about how cross-dressing pedophiles want children to sit on their lap while they read them stories. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look. You know. <laughs> oh, look. Murder hornets. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, look. A meteor's coming. Yay! The meteor's coming! All hail the meteor. Praise be unto the meteor. Fuck, man.
<sighs> you know, actually, a part of me started to wonder, like, I wonder if I cracked it, if I just had a couple of beers, because I still had a couple left in the fridge that, you know, actually refrigerated, because they wouldn't fit in the box. I was like, if I had a couple of those... Would that somehow flush me out faster and then make me healthy again? As crazy as that sounds, I have had that experience before. Where, like, I would just be sick as hell, like, and then just diarrhea forever, like. And then it's like, God, nothing will make this up. And then I'm like, well, fuck it. Have a couple of beers. And the next day, everything's fine again. Perfectly healthy. <laughs> You know, it does that, though, to trick you. It's because it's like, uh, it's like, it's like you paid into the beast or whatever, so the beast rewards you <laughs> by healing you so that you can fuck up some more and, and convincing you that the poison is a good thing, you know? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Because it's like a straight up spiritual attack is what it is. That's what that shit is. That's what any of that shit is, you know. That's why you like feel better if you jerk off or something, you know. Because it's like you're, something is feeding off of your energy. So it'll like lay off and stop attacking you for a little, little while. And it's like... Oh, I feel a little better now. For a while, you know? <laughs> because the fucking spiritual forces that were attacking me got fed, and now they, like, backed off for a little while. <laughs> yeah. It's that shit that tells you to, like, I'm hungry. You should eat more. When you're already, like, stuffed, you know? You're, like, so full, your stomach's about to pop, and you're like, I want some nachos, man. <laughs> or, like, <laughs> hey, there's more pizza in there. Get some, you know? <laughs> you're, like, bloated. Can't fit into your pants. You're like, me want more pizza, you know? <laughs> Chobo. Okay, Java, we feed you more. Fuck, man. Java want beer. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Java want meaningless sex with woman that not care about him. <laughs> but now now I just want to be loved, man. I just want to love and be loved and be loved and fucking have a, you know, build a home and plant a garden and I mean, shit, man. I thought about just buying land, right? This sounded great to me, right? Just buy some land. And even if I don't have enough money to do it right, if I could just buy, if I could just buy some land, you know, and like set up something like a yurt, or build a, you know, get enough lumber if that was possible. If they buy, if you could buy a piece of land that had some, you know, some trees on it, you could cut the trees down, build a cabin, right? You could hang up some, put up some solar panels, hang up some 12 volt lights and, and, you know, power stations and stuff to charge things with and be able to run radios and have lights and shit like that, you know, no big deal. Get a fucking water tank or like hand drill down for a, you know, one of the old school wells with the water pump, like you see at, you know, parks and old campgrounds and shit. You could do that, you know? 
set up a fucking propane stove or wood stove, you know, set up a fire pit. Like, dude, I wouldn't give a fuck if I had lived in a place where I had four walls and a roof and a goddamn door and I had a fucking fire pit in the center of the goddamn room with a, you know, thing over it to, like, cook on, right? I wouldn't give a fuck. Like, that would be fine. I would be fine with that. But no, that's not allowed. That's considered an unsafe environment. So we're the government, and we're here, to, and, your, and your county, and your city, and all the rest of them, and we're here to protect you by making you homeless and, you know, dependent on us forever. No, you cannot grow a garden. That is against our zoning regulations. Fucking hell. Only the good slaves are allowed to fucking eat or have a home. Good little obedient slaves get rewarded. Make it good boy, good boy, good doggy. Just whatever you do, don't try to escape from the fucking chains or dig under the fence. It'll fucking hunt you down and fucking screw you over. Try to find a shelter somewhere and chase you the fuck away. <laughs> Take you to the goddamn pound. Yeah, right? Fuck, man. Fucking great times, man. Great times. Right, I'm sick of it. Fucking bullshit. No, oh, man. I mean, I can see where the antinatalists are coming from, man. I really can. But, uh... You know, my only beef with the whole antinatalism thing is that, uh, the fact that I realize that the world should not be this way. It's not supposed to, or I don't believe it's by any right. It's not supposed to be this way. It shouldn't be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. The only reason that it's this way is because of all these goddamn, like, zombie mutant fucking mindless fucks walking around that just go... You know, it's like, uh, okay, there was a scene in this movie that I mentioned, you know, the war movie, uh, like, all's cool on the enemy front, or whatever the fuck it was called, right? <laughs> I mentioned the name earlier, alright? Good movie, great movie, you should watch it. Gruesome, though. Anyways, there's a scene at the end where... The, they had signed the armistice, right? Which is a, like a peace treaty, you know? And the war was supposed to be over. But there was like a, you know, a few hours left or something before that goes into effect. And there's this like bureaucrat dickhead general and like a handful of uh, his guards or whatever that he's got there. And he said he orders all the troops there. And there's like... I don't know, 50,000 fucking troops march up and stand out front. And this guy comes out on the balcony and he says, and he tells them that they got to go march to the front and, and attack the fucking trenches and get basically machine gunned to death some more, you know? Go murder more people and get yourselves killed. Go. And they're like, we don't want to go. And then it just takes like a little handful of the guards to like, beat up a couple of guys, shoot a couple of guys, and then they all just go, okay, march to the front, you know, even though they outnumber the guy and his guards by, like, thousands, tens of thousands to one, you know, but, you know, they gotta be obedient, can't not be obedient, you know, could you imagine what it'd be like if they had just all said, f all of them, like, said, fuck you, and just turned their guns on that, Fuck you. <laughs> you know? Game over. 
but it never happens. Now Larkin Rose has this video called The Tiny Little Dot, you know. You should watch that to see what I'm talking about. You know, that's kind of what it's like. It's like, I saw this meme once. It's like a picture of, uh, I don't know, like 30, 40, 50 German shepherds or whatever, right? Standing in a row. And there's like a cat walking in front of them. And it's got like the cat's, the cat's talking and saying, you know, barking or, you, you know, you know, uh, you have to give me half your food. You know, you all have to give me half your food. And the dogs are like looking at each other like, uh, we better do what he says. <laughs> you know, that's like kind of what position we're in. But because there's so many of the, you know, other dogs like us, right? That are like, uh, we better do what he says. Like we're fucked. Because actually it's more like the cat. And then there's like two German, two uh, Rottweilers backing the cat up like as his bodyguards, right? Against like 50 German, you know. <laughs> and they're all just we better do what he says with the harness. <laughs> you know, that's the situation where, you know, we're fucked, but like, there's no reason why we should be. Just blind obedience, you know, and ignorant and, and willful ignorance leads to this state of being going along with, well, it's always been that way. He's got the right to rule because his grandpa ruled, grandpa ruled and, and his grandpa before him ruled and uh, they ruled. And then uh, well, and people have always uh, worked at the mine. So my grandpa worked at the mine and my great grandpa worked at the mine. What do you think? You're better than them or something? What's wrong with you? You're not a man if you don't work in the mine. You know? What kind of pussy are you anyways? You want to work in the mine? Fucking lazy. You know? <laughs> like, it just continues on and on, this cycle of of capitulation and abuse and, and of just everybody being fucked and every generation being more fucked than the generation that came before them, basically. Well, kind of. Actually, that's kind of where we're at now. It hasn't always been that way. Sometimes there's upswings, you know, like the baby boomers. Goddamn world handed to them on a fucking silver platter, basically. Sorry, baby boomers. For saying that, but goddamn. I don't know. Do you believe these fucking people that say that things are better now than they ever have been? Like... We've got smartphones and TVs. We live better than kings live. Like, God damn you motherfuckers are delusional. <laughs> You're willing to trade, like, peace of mind and freedom for a fucking TV and smartphones and shit. Trade away the lives and freedom of your children's children's children for some fucking, you know. Oh, it's a good hamburger, man. Go get the vaccine. Oh, and get some donuts. We'll give you some of these fries. Mm. You remember that guy during the CV-19 shit? The, the governor or some shit that came on TV with like a hamburger and some french fries and shit. And he's like... They're giving out free burgers, man. You should go get it. Mmm, mmm, burgers so good. You remember that shit? <laughs> People were like, they got a hamburger for free. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They were giving away free hookers and shit. Goddamn weed and shit. Uh, free beer for the vaccinated. <laughs> Just... My God, man, the fucking world we live in, I just can't, I can't stand this shit, man.
I gotta do do something and make some fucking money because you know the world everyone's a slave to money because everybody it's like if everyone if tomorrow the the rulers of the world decided that the currency from now on shall be dog shit then they would be hoarding all the dog shit and everyone would be following the dogs around. The dogs would all be taken away to, you know, and then the dog shit would be handed out. People would get little dog shit, little baggies of dog shit or something, right? Different different weights worth of dog shit. And then people would be exchanging it and they'd be fucking fighting wars and killing and, and, and dying and sending their sons off to die in exchange for the dog shit. And be, they'd be selling every hour of their time and their lives in exchange for the baggies of dog shit. Because the baggies of dog shit are what life is all about, don't you know? It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. It's worthless fucking bullshit. The only thing we need to, to live... I mean, human connection would be nice. Decent conversation. Love friendship right that'd be nice but uh only thing we really need food water oxygen you know and uh shelter a home you know place to sleep and put our shit Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where rust doth cor- where moth and rust doth corrupt, and thieves break through and steal. Lay up for yourselves in stel- instead treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor dust more blah, moth moth blah. <laughs> dust uh, rust nor what the hell did it say? Whatever. I'm sorry. Fucking verbal diarrhea there. Uh. (sighs) (laughs) Moth? What? Fuck did I say? (laughs) Dust? Nor right now. Mold? Is that it? I'm sorry, I'm forgetting that passage apparently. I got it close, I think. Moth? It couldn't have been moth. But for some reason, I, that's what's coming to my brain. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll end on a high note with my fucking verbal diarrhea. Alright. Y'all have a good... Good morning, good after... Good evening, and good night. Or whatever. <laughs>